is up YouTube I hope you're all doing well today in this video I'm gonna share with you guys some tips that I've learned to help you write a great novella in case any of you are wondering what a novella is it is a written piece of work that is in between a novelette and a novel and if you don't know what a novelette is it's a written piece of work that's longer than a short story, shorter than a novella. So a short story, let's see, is 1 to 7,500 words. A novelette is 7,500 to about like 17,500 and then 17,500 to about... 40,000 or some may even go up to 50,000 is the recommended length of a novella and then 40,000 or 50,000 is the novel and up. So now that we got that out of the way, let's start with these tips of what I learned how to write these novellas and why they work and how they're going to work for you. First off, you got to plan. You need to plan your story out. What type of story is it going to be? Is it going to be action? Is it going to be romance? Is it going to be fantasy, science fiction, horror? People think that novellas are useless and no genre can be done in them. I'll tell you, that is total bullshit. Yes, it is. Why that's bullshit? Plenty of stories out there written in the novella length that fall in those genres right there. I mean, you got Treasure Island. That's fucking adventure right there. And it's a great story. Got all those Goosebump books out there. And I remember how damn popular those were back in the days. Novellas. You're telling me that nobody likes those? And they're starting to make a comeback right now. As there was a time when they were not so great. But it seems more and more people are picking them up. Because they're easy read. Which now leads to the next part is they are an easy read pretty much. What I learned is to make them easy. Don't make them difficult. Don't write them like some high-class epic fantasy novel or some 12,000-page each literary novel that focuses on World War II or so. No, that is too much information. We do not need to hear all that. Stick to something basic that is going to catch readers and it's going to be entertaining for them to want to read like they say in that saying that they'll say show don't tell here is a saying that i like to say entertain do not educate if you're gonna educate them write a freaking non-fiction book instead yeah i'm not reading a fiction book to be educated i'm reading to be entertained it's the same thing with movies. They don't go to the frickin' movies just to be educated about medieval sorcery. No, they are going there to be entertained. Always think about that. Another thing we want to do is why they're so short is avoid subplots. We don't need them. They are unnecessary in the novella length. Stick to one plot. Make it simple. If you got so many subplots or at least one other subplot, you pretty much are going to end up destroying your story right there. And that's the last thing any writer wants to do is destroy their story by their own fault. Mm -mm, we don't want that. I don't want to see writers fail like that. Readers don't want to see writers fail like that. Just avoid subplots altogether. Next, what we want to do 
characters. Keep them limited. I would probably say no more than like 10 characters, but that might be a little too much. The characters in my story that I'm going to be releasing soon, titled Piracy, that I've discussed in previous videos, there's only about like maybe five or six characters in there. Don't remember how much, but I kept it limited right there. I did not want to have so many characters in there. It was unnecessary to put that many in a novella lane. If you're going to want a story with over 30 characters, you're better off writing a novel instead. Because when you do add more and more characters, you're going to find out that this story cannot work as a novella. Another thing that I've learned about writing a novella is revise. 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 It's the same thing with all other stories that you write, whether it's a short story, a novelette, a novella, or a novel. Revise, revise, revise. Don't just think because it's shorter work, you don't need to revise it. You need to. I revised my story several times and I was still catching stuff that was mess ups, didn't make any sense. And I had to redo parts of those. Well, I even had to cut like two chapters completely from the story because they did not have meaning to it at all. By doing a lot more revising on these, you will make your story much, much better. The final thing that I want to say is have fun with it. Like you do with everything. Have fun fun. If you're not having fun, why are you doing this in the first place? It's like wanting to uh, ride a motorcycle or wanting to craft a, a piece of pottery or something. If you're not enjoying it, why are you doing it? So you must enjoy it and you'll find out that it's going to turn out much better when you enjoy it. Because that's something I always make sure I do. No matter what type of story I'm writing. Or whatever the length is. I make sure I'm enjoying it. When I'm enjoying it, I know this is going to turn out great in the end. With all the necessary hard work. So, that's all I have to say. Once again, guys, thank you for watching this video and like and subscribe. I post videos every Friday. I try to post more than that, but we'll see what we can do. So hit that bell icon if you want to hear more and let's help grow this channel some more and tell me in the comments of other things you'd like me to talk about. I mean, I'm not just going to be limited to talking about my work and books that I've reviewed like give me other things that you want me to talk about i don't care i'm willing to do whatever it takes to make y'all happy so that's it take care and have fun